talk about chapters 19 to 23 in Stand Up Yumi Chang by Jessica Kim. And without further ado, let's begin. So chapter 19, well we just finished off in the last video with this unheard voicemail that's probably going to result in catastrophe, right? Along with that, um, Ginny has told Yumi to just quit um, doing plant to do to doing operations show my case. Well, if you have been Yumi, would you have listened to your friend's advice or would you have just brushed it off like it was nothing? What do you think? Um, and do you think that Yumi after this will ever have another chance at being a stand-up comedi comedian? Or do you think this will be her last chance and she's just and she's just throwing it away. And what about Yumi's parents, right? I mean, they want the best for her, but what they but the best thing that that could happen to Yumi is to go into comedy camp. My question is, by the end of the book, do you think that that situation will be fixed or do you think that will forever be a problem? What do you think? Okay. Let's keep on going. So um so it seems like, you know, Sienna says that it, it, it seems really, it seems like an advantage that I'm the um, kid of some of the most famous movie makers, right? But it's actually not much of an advantage because they never show up. What do you think about that? Do you think that's an advantage or not? I mean, most people will say that's a disadvantage, but here's the thing. Like, for some reason, I get more nervous, like, doing something on stage in front of my, like, closest friends and family than I do around, like, random people that you know like they sort of matter to me but they don't really matter to me like like my parent like yeah um I'm, I'm just so afraid uh yeah so in my opinion i'll be like Phew, they're not coming that that's gonna put some weight off my shoulders but still i do understand sienna's pain and um i it would really suck if they did not come like even if i was nervous it would be better if they came than if they did not come like much better and so um then we realized that felipe knows that k that you know yumi is yumi and not k now when you read that what did you think that felipe was going to do did you think that he was going to yell everybody there's an imposter or did you think that he was just going to keep it a secret but then you know yumi was like i anything about I don't I have no idea what you're talking about right but do you think that Felipe really does know that this is the truth and do you think that um and yeah do you think that he's gonna sort of be mad at her for concealing it to her what about um Jasmine how do you think that she's gonna feel and and Sienna and everybody else like her parents and um do you really do you really think that in a week he'll have forgotten that Yumi ever existed I have a gut feeling right over here that tells me, no, he won't. And now, so Yumi is about to start her routine on stage when suddenly, uh, when suddenly a kid in a wheelchair bursts into the room along with uh, an, an, another room. Now, and, and if you happen in, when you were reading, what did you think? Like, here's the thing. I have this really good sense for when things are going to go wrong. Like, I have a really bad sense for when things are going to go well, but I have, like, an amazing sense for when things are going to go wrong. Like, it's, it's, it's like it's like a sixth set, scent. I mean, uh, sorry. A sixth sense. So, um, you know, this girl, right? It was like, it's really her, right? That means that she recognizes Jasmine Jasper. That probably means that she has a passion for comedy. Click. And then she hasn't been here before. And who hasn't been there? Kei Nakamura, right? And yeah, you know, it just took some guessing to really realize, oh gosh, that's Kei Nakamura. And if you happen you me, what would you have done? Me? I would have just said <laughs> I would have just run. I would have run because I would not wanna be in that type of confrontation, that type of situation. 
And if you happen, if you happen, you me, and you were in this situation, and everyone was looking, looking at you, oh yeah, you would have just run, right? I would have run. Um, I would have definitely run, just like you me. <laughs> um, and uh, do you think that? Do you think that? Um, this problem, right? This problem, Yumi dug herself into her grave, right? And do you think that she'll be able to run away from this? No, I don't think that she'll be able to run away from this. And then she she's running, Jasmine is chasing her, and then suddenly she almost crashes into a car. And with super bad luck, in it, there's mom and dad, right? Now, if, if you had been Yumi, what would you have done? I would have just been like, Oh my god, Jasmine Jasper's chasing me. I'm in big trouble. And now mom and dad are going to find out. And I'll just run the other way. Like, I wouldn't be like, I would, I would just run the other way. I mean, I know, I know. Actually, probably not. I, I, I would probably go to my parents and try to under, to explain. But their wrath would probably be more terrifying. And wow. Yeah, parents, when they're mad, I know from experience, they can be mad. And do you think, and how do you think that, how did you think that their parents, that Yumi's parents were going to react? How did you think that Yumi's friends were going to react? Well, um, Sienna and Felipe are really angry, right? Sienna's glowering and Lupe's, cr and, and Felipe's just um, crossed his arms, right? Angrily. And so, do you think that, do you think, and so they hate her, right? And, um, and, Jasmine, right? How did you think that Jasmine was going to react? I knew that Jasmine wouldn't be like angry, but I didn't know that she was going to be confused and a bit frustrated, right? She's going to be confused, shocked, surprised, frustrated, and I knew that um, her that Yumi's parents would just be really angry. And now, how do you think that Yumi's future will be like? Because Currently, this has been a really big situation. It's been pandemonium, right? Do you think that she'll ever be able to piece her life back together? And will she ever be able to see Jasmine Jasper again? What about her friends? Do you think that she'll ever see her friends again? And finally, how do you think that her parents are going to feel? Now, um, what do you think about Yumi's parents? Like, you know, they're, they, they just don't understand, right? Um, they just always think about grace and things like that. They never understand what's good for their daughters, right? So do you think that Yumi should just rebel? Do you think that she should do the things that she wants? I mean, yes, she's doing it right now, but do you think that she should just completely rebel against against these rules that are, that are holding her in Winston, that are holding her from doing her passion? Do you think that she should just rebel like Yuri? Or do you think that's not possible at all? And do you think that just doing that will be even worse than if she had just, you know, just stayed put and followed orders? What do you think? So, my last question for this chapter is, do you think that Yumi will forever stay the old me? Do you think she's ever going to go on to the new me? And um, and will she ever be able to um, make her, make everybody forgive her? Or do you think that's um, pointless? You know, Jasmine, Jasper, Felipe, Sienna, her parents, everybody. Do you think that they'll ever forgive her? I mean, they'll probably forgive her, but how do you think that she's gonna have to work to make sure that they forgive her? And um, do you think that she'll also get into the 99th percentile for, and get into Winston, or will she go to public school? And how do you think that her parents are going to react to that news? Okay, let's keep, now, chapter 22, the last chapter for today, and um, now, uh, you know, Yuri and Yumi are, you know, un are packing for y Yuri's trip with the Peace Corp, Corp to Nepal, right? So, do you think that Yumi, you know, she sort of recovered from that initial shock, and her parents have sort of recovered too. Um, at least not, I mean, they're not as angry. So, do you think that things are going to soon go back to normal? Do you think that the past is going to be forgotten? Um, and yeah. Will Yumi ever have an opportunity at comedy again?
Will she go to Pam? So those are some questions, some predictions that we should already make. And also, um, would you give up a chance to eat to eat uh pop popping soup? Which, which is really tasty. Would you would you resist a chance? No way. I am a big popping soup fan and I will never ever give up that even if my life is up in the air. I will definitely eat that. But maybe Yumi has more self control, like, you know, over her diet. Or maybe or maybe she's just in a really downcast mood. And then we realize, you know, Yumi totally missed a showcase. Now, Operation Show My Case is definitely not going to work because the showcase has already passed. Do you think that Operation Show My Case in one way or another is going to work? Do you think that, her, that Yumi will be able to convince her parents? Most, most, um, most importantly, now that Yumi has missed the showcase, right? Maybe Jasmine Jasper is going to go away. Maybe, uh, actually, maybe probably not. But still, um, what this means is that Yumi has lost her last chance. Do you think that she's ever going to get a, another one? Well, we're gonna have to find out next time with more chapters of with by reading even more. I hope that you enjoyed these four chapters in Stand Up Yumi Chung by Jessica Kim. I'm gonna ask you a few last questions. First, first, will Yumi be able to piece her life together again? I mean, I've already asked variations of this question, but in summary, right? First, will Yumi be able to be able to piece? her life together again in many different ways, okay? And second, will she ever have a second chance? Third, um, do you think, you know, I mean, third, when do you think that this part's gonna come up, right? I mean, like, she's she's here, right? And so she must be, so when do you think that this is going to come up? Where, when, and how? Well, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna see you next time for more um, of Yumi Chung and other books. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and keep reading because reading is awesome.